Hey guys, and welcome to a commentary for Call of Duty Black Ops Modern Warfare. Or not Black Ops Modern Warfare 2. I'm talking about safe for Call of Duty right now. I'm gonna, we're just gonna talk about random shiz. Looking for so. Rebecca Black put out a new single, and I was like, oh yes, I love Rebecca Black. She is amazing. It's called my moment, and some of my friends are like, uh, -uh I don't want to see that, but I'm like, uh, uh, you kind of have to see it. So I'm gonna force them to see it soon. You know, I'm just that type of person. Am I kind of evil for that? No, I'm not. I am not an evil person because I love Rebecca Black. And her single came out my moment and it froze at the two minute mark. And I was like, come on, man. I want to see, I want to hear the rest of the two minute mark. That's just not nice. But it's, it's like, but when I first heard, I was on Twitter and Ray Roland Johnson said, no shit. Uh, Rebecca Black has a new single. And I was like, oh my god. So then I started singing, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We're gonna have a ball today. Tomorrow is Saturday. And Sunday comes after words. Well, duh. We kind of have to know our days of the week to graduate from kindergarten. The Enemy care package incoming. Yeah, it's kind of weird. We shouldn't know days of the week by now. But because of her, I now know my days of the week. Because I was kind of one of those stupid kids who didn't know their days of the week. But now I do. All because of Rebecca Black. I'm pretty proud of myself. Aren't you proud of my? Aren't you proud of me? No, I'm such, I feel like such a good person. Because I now know the true meaning of life. It's know my days of the week. And speaking of days of the week, so one of my days of the week was it was a um not Friday. It was not Friday. It was Wednesday. Wednesday. Got to do nothing on Wednesday. No, it was. Sunday, say it was. Sunday, and I was. Sunday, and I was watching, um. Disney Channel. And on the Disney Channel. And kind of stupid now, because they used to have Hannah Montana, which was, like, really cool. And, you know, I like Hannah Montana. Sue me. They're a pretty good sitcom. Now all the shows kind of suck. Like. It basically got, are gonna. Was there wherever they play is only updated like once every two months or so. It's like I went to with that Justin Bieber guy and like an annoying person. And um it's another show called Ant Farm now. I don't know, they just have some like little eleven year they have a bunch of eleven year olds in high school. Haha, <laughs> how cute. No, they would be freaking killed in high school. Or at least in, like, when I was in middle school, we had the sixth graders in my eighth grade math class. All the eighth graders just loved them because they thought that they were the cutest little things. So we had, like, these two little midget Indi Indian dudes, and they were pretty amazing. Yeah, and they were smart than every single kid in that class. They were sixth graders in eighth grade math. Enough said. So, so on the Ant Farm show, like, these people... So, on the... So, this girl, the main girl, is mad because she thinks that all the... Ants, the advanced natural talent people, can get all A's whenever without even trying. Like they just like they can put really bad answers, but they'll get all A's. So like so they so she fails a science project on purpose to see if she can get an F. I'm like, I mean, I'll be like, oh yes, I can get easy A's without any effort. Uh, hello, why would I be mad about that? No idea how you thought of that stupid concept. Just a stupid, stupid concept. And, um, I mean, they have stupid fish hook. Show them and get me started on that show. That show is just pointless, pointless, pointless. What's the point of pointless, pointless? Fish hooks, that's what. I do not like fish hooks at all. It's just stupid. Because, okay, so after Hannah Montana was essentially canceled, I thought that they were going to have, um, and then so once out, because Disney Channel was like, or Hannah Montana was the main big show on Disney Channel. So I was like, okay. So then they went to having, um, what, what's my call it? They had, uh, that Sweet Life on Deck in the main one, which was probably the, one of the best ones they had. The whole Sweet Life series was pretty good. I tried watching the movie, it was too bad. But, I'm sure I thought that was bad, but I thought the series was good. Sue me. That was, yeah. So, and then, like, I don't know, like, it was probably a couple months or so after Hamilton, I got canceled. 
They stopped doing sweet life, sweet life on deck too. So my God. So I guess that boy is a Waverly place to carry the load. Oh yes. We should update once every two months. So the only new episodes you get now are Good Luck Charlie, which is just some stupid little baby with a lot of dumb blondes on their show. You have Shake It Up, which is actually uh, the first probably was really bad, but I guess the show has been pretty decent so far. And uh. Yeah, ant form, which is gonna suck. And yeah, I'm not very looking forward on Disney Channel. Nickelodeon, I really enjoy. I mean, I watch every anime show besides SpongeBob. But I watch Victoria, it's like Carly, and Big Time Rush, which those three sitcoms, in my opinion, are all better than all of the sitcoms that Disney Channel has. Disney Channel's best sitcom has new episodes, Wizards of Waverly Place, and I think Big Time Rush might actually be better than that show. So Nickelodeon's just killing them when it comes to good series, because I don't care. Plus, they're having really adult stuff, like they're comfortable hobnockers on iCarly. I was like, what? What? And it was like, oh, that's uh, nice. That's not a very good thing to be calling people, but I guess if you want to be called that, go right ahead. People will not like you for it. And I just got knifed. No, dang it, I do not want to talk about this stupid game. I am just going to talk about Disney Channel and stuff. So, where was I? Yeah. Uh, Victorious is like my favorite show on the TV besides Big Brother. Big Brother's amazing. I don't people that actually like Rachel. I know why people would hate her. She's not that appealing of a person. But I like her because I'm a teenage boy. No, how'd I miss that? Oh, no. Ah, stop talking about this stupid game. Um, yeah, so I'm right now on the new guys. I want Adam to win because Adam is freaking amazing. Can you not love Adam? And this commentary is over. Now that was a pretty amazing commentary, right? I just started talking, 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 and there was absolutely no disregard for what this stupid game was. I just talked and talked and talked. See, this is how you make a good commentary. I'll talk about the effing game. Talk about what's interesting.